This is Gapminder's web page. We are like a modern museum on the internet. Here you can have fun with statistics and explore the history of your Carbetican order. You find Tunisia. You find Tunisia. You can have a lot of fun with statistics. Welcome to Gapminder. Let me tell you the history of Tunisia in Algeria in just two minutes using this graphics. These two bubbles are the two countries. Here I show the income per person in dollar, in purchasing power parity dollars. $1,000 per person, $10,000 or more. It means rich this direction, poor this direction. And here I show the health of the population, the length of life, 40 years, 60 years, 80 years. 1956, both Tunisia and Algeria were poor and sick in this corner. Let's see what happened after independence. Here we go. I start time. And you can see how Tunisia started to get healthier. This was the war of independence in Algeria. But then Algeria follows towards a healthier life. And Algeria is a little richer than Tunisia. Eh? But here Tunisia is doing fine in health and Algeria is following. Algeria is starting to sell more oil but not getting so much richer. These are the tragic decade of civil war in Algeria when Tunisia improves a little in the economy and gets much healthier than the Algerians. But now the Algerians start to follow into the future and the economic growth is going on in the countries not too fast and there they are today. An amazing twin journey of the two countries now going into the future. Let me compare these two neighboring countries with the rest of the world. I will show you the bubbles for the rest of the world. And there are some countries in West Europe, North America, the colors of the countries show where they are situated. These are the richest countries, $40,000, they live 80 years. Down here are the poorest countries in Africa, and this is Afghanistan. Look, Tunisia at independence was as poor and as sick as people are in the tragedy of Afghanistan today. What an amazing improvement Tunisia and Algeria have done, reaching this high health level, but not so amazing economic growth. Who are the neighbors today? Well, of course, the big bubble here is China. Tunisia is like the average of China. And the ones ahead of Tunisia is Thailand, it's Peru, and it's Turkey. You are just a little bit behind Turkey and you can follow into the future. But be careful, eh? be careful here, because these are the average for countries. The best of one-fifth of the population in Tunisia, they live up here. They live a long life and they are quite rich. I've seen it on the streets in Tunis. And the poorest one-fifth of the population in Tunisia are down here at the India level. So the inequity within the country is almost as big as 30, 40 years of the journey of the country. Diminishing inequity at the same time as you increase economic growth. That's what China have done, that's what Turkey is doing. This will bring you into the future. Good luck.